So we're three years into the journey. We hadn't got any media yet. And we're like, why not? Surely this is a good story. Surely media want to know about this. Then we realized that we hadn't actually told them. We'd sent press releases and done it all the traditional way. But then we realized we hadn't done anything to really get cut through. So what we did is we just wrote a letter of our story, wrapped it around a bottle, found the um, details of the director of Sunrise on Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia. Sent it through to him. And within a few days, we got an, a phone call back asking us if we would like to take part in a two-day feature on Sunrise. They did 13 and a half minutes on air. One of my other photos is missing. Oh, there it is. They did 13 and a half minutes across two days. They did one day in the office in the factory, and then the other day was on the field in Cambodia and actually seeing the impact that we're making. Now, this time for us was crazy. We were still juggling everything that we were juggling. And what happened was when this went on, the phone went off the hook. And when I say the phone went off the hook, like, it was crazy. Because you know the 1300 number that's meant to sound really professional? It was going through to my mobile. And I was nannying, and I was also studying, and it was just very crazy times. We also shared it around the team at different times, but it went very hectic. And then I realized on national TV, I actually said, in moments like that, I have to stop and remember why we're actually doing what we're doing. At this point, we realized that we had gotten media on board, but we realized we needed to shake it up a bit. You see, we tried the traditional approach for three years, and we still hadn't got any traction. We still hadn't got any retailers on board. We still hadn't got any people really buying into what we're doing. When we met with retailers, they would basically say to us, um, um, where's your $3 million marketing budget, and who actually cares about what you do? And we were, you know, very new. We didn't have any data. We didn't have any money. If we had $3 million, we'd be putting it into our projects, not on billboards. And so it was quite discouraging, right, to be able to get all these knockbacks. So we realized that we had to shake it up. We had to change our perspective and do things that hasn't been done before. So on the fourth, um, what we did is we posted this onto our Facebook page, along with a video that said 7-Eleven. Uh, on the 4th of July, we're pitching to 7-Eleven Australia. We want to show them that we're not the only ones who think this is a great idea. So post up a video. And we encourage people to post videos and to encourage on the 7-Eleven Facebook page to encourage them to do it. So I want to show you a quick video of what happened. Okay, let's get down to business. Hey guys, Jules Sanz here from Getaway. Hi, I'm Kim Sanz. Hi, thank you. I'm Paul. Hey guys, I'm John Hugh. My name is Kim Paul. This is my name, Drew. My name is Rich. My name is Louis. This is Dean Geyer. Christopher Wayne. My name is Rudy. Shrug. Hello. Yeah. Teresa. Hey, baby. Ross. It's great. If you stopped it, I would buy it. I would definitely buy it. I buy it. I would buy it. I would definitely buy it. So I will admit, we got a couple of our friends and family to help out so that it wouldn't fail. But then hundreds of people we didn't even know would jump on and do all of these videos. We were, we were literally overwhelmed by all these people who would jump on board. We had the Project and Sunrise launch our campaign for us. And they even potentially may have mentioned the brand 7-Eleven on air, which we're very excited about. We also had all these different media jump on board and talk about it. We had, um, uh, basically what happened was, sorry, I'm having an issue with the clicker here. Basically what happened was 7-Eleven, um, oh no, thank you, sound person. 7-Eleven um, called us 
right, after we posted this, and we were freaking out. Like, to be honest, we didn't even want to take the call. We were like, what do we do? But they called us and they said, congratulations, you got the entire organization from the CEO right through to the receptionist glued to our Facebook page. We actually can't wait to see what comes out next. But he said, we've heard that people want to come and petition on site. So we were like, we didn't plan that, we promise. But he asked us to come in a week earlier so that we can discuss and hopefully make an earlier announcement. We were like, OK, sure. So we went in there, and I'll be honest, it was very, very awkward, because they'd all seen our video that we posted, which had me in it. And so it was like we're walking through the 7-Eleven thing like this, pretty much. Like, this is really embarrassing. They all know what we're here for. But what was amazing is after we pitched to them, they knew they just sat back in their chair, and they're like, it's that easy. We, we're going to do this. And so they rolled it out nationally into all of their stores. And after we outsold within a few weeks two brands and then two brands combined, they then decided that they were going to drop their home brand, replace it with our water, so that we could sell 10 times the volume in their stores. Their director even came over with us to Cambodia to be able to see the projects that we were doing and the impact we were making. And what happened as a result is that we were able to, after that year, be able to give 130, just over $130,000 worth of projects. So we're starting to get there. Thank you.